Hey, it's Chuck here back with Milton Daily Homes. And if I seem a little puffy eyed and tired, I was up till about uh, 2 a.m. just sort of follow, following up and polishing off an offer. So <laughs> that's the nature of what we do sometimes. And uh, but it's so rewarding when it really does happen. So today's a, a little short list. There's only six of them. And the first one up is 941 Sprague, and it's listed, some people call it Sprague, Sprague, whatever. Uh, 3049 is what it's listed at. It's an end unit. And typically these are about 1,300 square feet. There's hardwood floors, um, you know, very open concept design on this one here. Uh, you know, it's priced really well with those hardwood floors. It's two bedroom, two washroom. And um, and so what they've done is they've really modified the plans a little bit. These do come in a three bedroom as well. So it's a June possession date pretty quick. And uh, yeah, looks good. Real, real nice. For the end unit and the hardwood, 304 compares very well. Could even sell for more. 930 Burroughs Gate. I swear at some point I've probably sold this house before. It looks familiar. Uh, 345, three bedroom, three washroom. And the uh, there's no finished basement. This is uh, Hillsview End with hardwood floor in the great room, the dining room. Um, second floor laundry. It's basically like a really big uh, croft side model and they've done the upgraded under pad which I'm a big fan of I think it's mandatory if you have carpet and uh, and they've upgraded the basement windows so really really nice here I think it has those those real smart upgrades laundry on the second floor all that stuff so hey working for me typically if it's got a finished basement that's mostly the hills view that have been listed uh, they're getting more than 350 so it's priced well too Nice job, guys. So 843 Laurier is 349.9, and it's a link home. And when you read the description, I'm very intrigued. I mean, Laurier is a busier street. Uh, it's a three bedroom, three washroom, and there's a 35 by 120 uh, foot property. It's a finished basement here. And there's an in ground pool, which is like immediately the blinkers go off for 350. That's usually not pool territory. And now these homes are sort of are past the 20 year mark and usually after 20 years as you're talking about replacing furnace windows uh, roof air conditioning all that stuff tends to start to need work at that age so they uh, sometimes these homes are are in as good condition as a anatomy home because and sometimes even better because anatomy might throw it up pretty quick um, Crown Moldings, they've done a kitchen, they've got a mid-efficiency furnace, which, uh, so I know that's been done at least a couple years ago, and in ground pool, all that stuff, so I like this one, I think it would definitely be worth this, it's almost for me, I'm saying, what's the catch on this one, so, nice, 134 Farrington Crossing, 414.9, now this is a relist, the last three on this list are all relists, so this one, one it came out, I think, originally at 429, and uh, it's got two car parking in the driveway. It's 2,200 square feet inside. And, you know, there's a front room here. And then it opens up to the family in the kitchen. Very traditional layout. Kitchen's not that bad, actually. It's got a little upgraded range hood here. The whole house is basically white and boring. And there's a gas fireplace there. They've got California shutters. But beyond that, it is builder simple. And But they've chosen nice colors. I mean, it's not a horrible house. It just doesn't have anything that grabs your heart and pulls it out. So, I don't know. I think at this price, it's pretty good. I think at four twenty nine, it kind of compared pretty well to some stuff. So, it's uh, I think it's right for the picking. It's definitely at that age. So one thirty three McLaughlin. This one's been listed before. This is under two thousand square feet, four bedroom. That there's only essentially one big room on the main level at five nineteen. I think they're out to lunch. I thought they were out to lunch before when they were listed at five. 30 or whatever it was um, so oh, oh convenient location um, I think that's pretty funny the, the description natural light blaring through the windows uh, spring is a new beginning it's pretty funny I, I like these descriptions I get a kick out of them and I still think they're out to lunch on this one now that model and this one are the same one so this is a bell for two and it's the same agent that wrote the description so you'll have even more laughs on this one but it's uh, 149 McLaughlin 529 and double garage yeah it's nice so there's the kitchen and it opens up to this, This there's the eat-in, and then there's essentially one big room around it. So upstairs, there's hardwood. I think that's in the master. 
that looks like an identical pick to before. Double sink in there. Laundry is a picture. I don't know about that. But yeah, I'm just not a big fan. Huge driveway here. 101.7 feet. Uh, 37 lots. So I don't know. You know, it's just, yeah. I still think they're about 30, 40,000 at least overpriced. But just me. No amount of marketing in this type of market, no amount of marketing is going to sell an overpriced listing. Anyhow, that's our list for today. So if you have any questions, give us a call. And I've been mentioning a little bit about our buyer class. So I'm going to send out an email probably later on today or tomorrow specifically about the class, what you'll learn. And I'd encourage you to sign up. So that's it. I'm going to go back to sleep because I'm exhausted. No, I'm just kidding. I had my sleep for today. And I uh, hope you have a great day. Okay, see ya. Bye.